Hello and welcome to the first video of the series Python in the Cloud. This series is basically relevant for everyone interested in programming, automization, data science and related fields. We are starting working with the Google Cloud Platform short form GCP. To be able to use GCP you have to fulfill the requirements of having a Google account and you need to sign up for GCP which is taking like 3 to 5 minutes of your time. You will find a link in the video description. What is pretty nice about GCP, you are getting $300 free credit, which is awesome to play a bit around with different stuff on the platform. By the way, this video is not sponsored or anything. So let's take a quick look at what will be covered. So we are setting up a Linux virtual machine and installing a corner environment, including Python, and also creating Python files and execute them. So let's get started. Okay, so let's set up a virtual machine. Therefore, you're clicking on the navigation menu, then on Compute Engine and VM Instances. And here you are creating an instance. You can name it if you want, I'm not doing that. And in my case, the region would be Frankfurt. So just pick your region here. And here you can configure your machine. So I'm just taking a very, very non-performant machine here as I just want to execute Python scripts, right? So I'm not doing machine learning or something like that. I just want to give you some examples here. So I'm just taking this one here, micro. And so if you're asking yourself, okay, I'm scared of the cost of this, you can have an estimate here. And so if you are running this machine a whole month, so without turning it off any time, you would pay $9 roughly, right? So we got two cores here and one a gigabyte memory. That's enough for our purposes. You can set up a lot more here. We might cover that in future videos, but that's it for now. We are taking the Debian Linux system here. So you can of course also pick uh, the Windows operating system and many, many more. So you can take a look for yourself, but I'm taking Debian here. Okay, so you can define the, the, disk, the boot uh, size here. And yeah, a 10 gigabyte is fine for now. Okay, so we are just creating that. And as you see now, the virtual machine is set up and we have an internal and external IP. And to actually start it, we are clicking on SSH here. You see pop-up window was blocked here. So I'm manually clicking that, connect to that. And now we see, so I'm enlarging that a bit. Hopefully you can see that properly. And now we see I'm in my shell here and I can just execute Linux commands, right? So for example, if I wanna know in which directory I am, I'm here in my home folder, right? Or if I wanna get an overview of my files, uh, I see that I have no files in my current folder, okay? And now we are installing mini corner and I'm just copy pasting the download link from my other screen here. So we are using wget and then this, this link here. So this is just the latest mini conda version for Linux. So we can execute that and we are getting this error. That means that 
we don't have wget installed yet so i didn't know that it's not installed here so you can just um, take sudo apt get and then wget yeah good morning sorry so it's yes i want to continue and then wget is installed so we can execute this again now you see miniconda has been downloaded so if we are taking a look here again in our folder you see that we have this yeah this download file in our folder now and we can just uh, yeah, execute this this uh, download file by just using bash and then yeah, come on and then provide the name of the file and then press enter to continue and now we have to read the agreement by the way i've read the whole agreement before recording this video so i'm just clicking the space and accepting the license agreement here and i'm confirming the location in my home folder here now it's taking some time and now i want to initialize miniconda and very important now we have to restart the virtual machine now so i'm just exiting that leave the page go on this side again click on ssh again And now you see we have this space in front of our uh, username and that means the installation and the initialization was successful so to check it we could just try to start python because python is in our account environment right so if i'm pressing python here i can code in python now print hello right so works perfectly now, what else did I want to cover? Yeah, I want to create Python scripts. So let's enlarge that a bit here. So to create Python scripts, uh, we can just use a text editor. So I'm taking nano here and then just define a name here. So example script py. Now you see my nano text editors opening up and i can just define a python command here for i in range 10 print i so i'm exiting this save that press enter and now you see that i have the example script here right and i can just execute the script by typing in Python and then the script name. And you see the script is being executed, right? And yeah, last but not least, so in case you are not using this virtual machine, so I don't know if you have scheduled scripts or processes defined in the virtual machine, of course it should be running. But if you are not using it, I recommend to turn it off after you've used it so you're just clicking on more actions here and then on uh, stop so with that you're saving yourself some money here right and yeah that's already it so i'm keeping it short here i hope this was informative for you or adding value in the best case um 
Up next, we are taking a look at scheduling scripts in the cloud, so we are not dependent on our operating system. I've talked about that in the stock recommender series. And yeah, if you have any suggestions or what you're interested in, let me know in the comments below. And again, thank you very much for watching. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.